Hi, this is Bob Weiss. I'm the host of Shaking Your World. Cheers. Folks, uh, welcome back to part two of our talks of Cuba with Jose. And I believe you left off talking about Angola. Yeah, and, and General Ochoa. Uh, one on charge because Castro wanted out of the country because his brother paranoid about he can he, he got too many people following him. Even uh, the the brothers, you know, two brothers, uh, the twins, how to use it. The only people can go to Castro Brothers, you know, if you ask him, nobody coming through. And he let it go through uh, these two brothers because he know from before. So and they were the gatekeepers, he, right? He, yeah. He, 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 he trusted okay. a lot, you know. Hermano La Guardia. Okay. You know, it's the, the two, the, 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 the Coronel La Guardia. Tony LaGuardia and his brother. Okay. His brother got 30 years, and Tony got killed. General okay. Ochoa got killed, too. Because these people, at one point in the party, got conversation together, and somebody hit about it, got a lot of money hiding, and free he and then when Castro find out all the dollars and money hiding, only you need to win any kind of war, it's money, 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 and money. You don't need nothing else. So were they killed in Cuba or in Angola? No, they killed him in Cuba. In Cuba. And then, in the same time, he put him, he, he tested all the people, how to use to be, General Show, how to use to be teacher and, and like a mentor okay. to these people. And these people judge him and make it death penalty. Mm. You understand? That, that way do. he can show Castro, you support my revolution. So you kill this man as your best friend, as your mentor, as everything for you, and you kill for revolution is because you love it. It's the kind of thing like Stanley do. Sure. And then he, 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 he his time he say he believe it, it's a poor guy. Mm -hmm. And then all these people got killed in 10 days. Coming from Angola, bringing to Cuba, bringing from anywhere, and killed. Right away, no hesitation, uh, two years, three years, uh, trial, or nothing like that. Nobody well, has The same to... thing that Che did in Colombia, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah same thing. You know, yeah. he, he sent Che to Bolivia. Okay. Because he don't want Che no more inside. Yeah. Like Camilo and, and Uwe Mato. It's a, some kind of people, you know, when he see fight for revolution, mm -hmm. no fight for communists or, 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 or the type of change when he trying to give it out, everything to, to rush, you know, in the time, it, it, these people don't see. Sure, well, they served a purpose to get them there. You believe in something, and Castro, no, Castro, any time he, he speak out about 1959, 1960, he say, a, a boy bien Camilo, he don't like that. Mm -hmm. He don't have to tell nobody, say, I'm doing mm -hmm. good, or I'm doing no good. Mm -hmm. He say, well, tomorrow, you go get Uwe Mato, and Uwe Mato, and bring him out. So Uwe Mato, he put him in different plane, bring him to Havana, and the plane Camilo, Never show out, never nowhere, and yeah. never, never find it. Yeah. And then everybody throw flowers in the ocean sure. to Camilo because he, he disappeared. Sounds like Hillary, for God's sakes, doesn't it's it? Like, People like, disappear. It's like he make him move, you know, yeah. and then give the power he and his brother. Sure. And say nobody else yeah. can tell him nothing about it because I believe his ego. You know, when you, when you give the power, power is one, money is one thing and power is different thing. When you give the power, it's more and more and everything. And you will say, I don't have to ask you if you're doing good right. or I'm doing bad. Sure. Because I'm the one put this thing together. It's lonely at the top, you isn't know? it? Because he, he started a long time ago. People know he started in Bogotá, Colombia, when the Bogotá, so mm -hmm. it's how his relationship, all the far and all these people, Maturana, and people know from a long time. Castro make a big major role and all the guerrilla in Nicaragua, in Colombia, everywhere he can put it, uh, destabilize a country or something like that, he help them out. Well, so, Venezuela, of some course. Some kind of way, you know. Sure. But Venezuela, you know, Venezuela, what happened in Venezuela, same thing what happened in Cuba, because same people before running the country mm -hmm. and forget about the, the, the poor, you know, understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then it's how people like Chavez mm -hmm. come out, like Castro, you know, c kind of Robin Hood. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yes, yes. And, and then when you put him in power, because Chavez come in power, but Chavez no, no, Chavez is a military dude. And then he don't know nothing, but it's how he paid Castro. Castro sure. showed him how to, he keep it, he himself in power. The first thing you have to do, change the constitution. The constitution, mm -hmm. all the people having it, 
There's no our constitution. So when you do that, everything coming in part. They do the reform agraria, taking everything from the countryside. We do the reform of Bana, taking all the house from other people. Everybody talk a bit about you, no good, like in newspaper, radio, television, cut it off. Mm -hmm. You understand? Everybody has to be a focus on one thing. Our, our, our revolution is the way we're going to project ourselves, and nobody will criticize us, or nobody tell nothing where well, we don't like it. See, I don't like it, it's no, it's no happy. It's the way, it's the way real people. Jose, it's interesting that you talk about what, what took place in Cuba, what took place in Central and South America is, is so much akin to what is happening in this country right now and how yeah. America in many ways is being torn asunder as well where people want to go to the same type of situation. The media is being controlled. All sorts of things are controlled. So, This country is, is different. You know, okay. because this country, like, 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 remember Nicaragua, when the two brothers, you know, taking the power, uh, when the time is over, these people let it go mm -hmm. and go into, a, 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 like this now, what you calling a, a ball, you know, election. Castro never let no. nobody do that. No. You know, these people running for say, you see, seven, eight years, and then let it go, and then Violeta Chamorro gone by, and they, these people take it by in the game, you know? Well, time is different in Central South America. Uh, the relationship for what people do on a daily basis and time is much different. Here, there's such a hurry to get things done now. We don't have the luxury of waiting for six or eight or ten years for a change to take place. Do you see that as well? You know, America right now is very divided. You know is what there? I mean? Very, very, very divided. Very. And then you have to find you have to uh, find somebody bring the trust again. That way, it's very scared. You understand know, between a lot of stuff. You know, mm -hmm. you know, race and, and because we from one country, we don't got that type of problem. Everybody black, white, whatever. We Cuban. You know, saying mm -hmm. so you have to see. Mm -hmm different way mm -hmm. when when things happen. Like in our country in Central America you can have hill side, you can have frontera from the other country. Mm -hmm. We don't have frontera from nobody. Right. Okay, anything happen in seventy two hours in Cuba, he find you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Small and, island. And the other way you can go to Costa Rica, you can go to Honduras, Guatemala. Right. In Cuba you can go yeah, nowhere. nowhere. You, can, you can go to the water. Right. And Get a chance, you know, but right. either way, he's gonna find you. Right. So it's hard to, like before, when Castro started, it's a lot of people, mm, people don't even mention no more before the revolution, like mm -hmm. in the clandestine, you know, in, in, in Havana, mm -hmm. when Batista around, it's a lot of, like, uh, Humboldt 7, it's a street on, on Bedao, mm -hmm. you know, and, and have to use a lot of young guys who got killed. Mm -hmm. from the university, like, like you call it Humboldt 7, Tony Aloma, Pepito Tay, uh, Otto Pareada, all, all, all these people do a lot of insight, you no, know? okay. like, like Fidel went to the country and be in the mouth, you know, these people in the city. And when Batista got you, he got your eyes out, your tongue cut and, and do a lot of stuff, you know, and these people don't talk about it, you know? Right, right, so torture, obviously. Torture, right. you know? No. And, and, and for me, it's the, 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 the hero, because the people fight. Castro coming by later, little by little, you know, and he's saying Che in the front, mm -hmm. and Raul and Camilo, and he's coming behind, you know, because he's the, the, the mentality. Well, this is interesting because, as I said, when I'm there, it's Che is everywhere, right? Images yeah. of Che are everywhere, statues, whatever. And, and yet so many of the people that were there to fight for the revolution are gone. They've been erased from history in so many ways. You remember, the other Cubans remember, but aside from that, the names are obscured, they're gone. How come Che retains that, that position? The image is what you mean, you know, because remember Che Guevara before, he's a doctor, he's a mm -hmm. very smart guy, right. and, 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 and he, he fight. Mm -hmm. You understand for the country. Yeah. He fight for the country. That's why he think he deserve it. Okay. Better. When they but, but between the, the Castro brothers, you know, it, it's nobody between 
you know, the power is divided in the two. So we have, you have to do something about him. Mm -hmm. And then he sent it to Africa. And when he sent it to Lero, you know, he sent a Lero one time, I said, you sent me around here and there and there. I don't know why, because I don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. You got to me like you made it go around. Right. You know? Where, 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 you know, I got my wife, I got my kids, I mm -hmm. got everything in Cuba, and I can even go because you don't want me to. You know, right. you, and then he, Castro, they were like, well, go to Bolivia and fight for the revolution or that. But if he sent it to a play, he knows he's going to get killed. Right. You understand right. what I'm mean? saying? Right. He's he right. he, he yeah. going to send it to a, nobody uh -huh. play around in Bolivia. Yeah. By the time when you go over there, you can not come out from there. So at that time, Bolivia was not enmeshed in the drug scene like they are now, though, were they? No, no. Yeah, Bolivia always be Even uh, very, very quiet, but okay. always a politician, you know, all the government and everything involved in the drug trade. Okay. Because like Bolivia or what's the other country? In the well, certainly Equ Ecuador. Ecuador, yeah. And all, all these countries together, you know, Bolivia, the coca mm -hmm. Co The coca is legal. Okay. But well, it's not legal when you trying to put it acetone and clothes, all, uh, all, all, all the deep, all, all right. this, you know, the other right. thing to make it cocaine. Right. And then all the way Bolivia, running the, like Peru, you know. The Colombian people, what, what they're trying is monopolize the business. Buy all the, all the, all the gum, you know, not mm -hmm. the coca leaf. When you put some thing in the coca leaf, come with the base. So the Colombian buy the base, and make it the cocaine and then bring him over here. It's sure, a, it's I, a long run, you know. I think we've all watched Escobar. So, um, yeah. you know, in many ways, I, I would uh, just as a guy who's been there and uh, both the Colombia and the Cuba, I would say that there's actually a similarity in my mind between Che Guevara and Escobar in some ways. Both very bright guys. And both uh, but, uh, would, would do uh, anything uh, necessary to advance uh, but, their cause. But Escobar is a different type of guy. You know, we go with Escobar trying to make his tamer okay. in his country. And Che Guevara is a dojo, revolutionary, different type of view, different mentality. Okay. You know, Escobar, when, it's like when he sees himself in, 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 in Trump, he put bomb in, 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 in supermarkets mm -hmm. and kill kids. And you understand what I'm saying? But, they, he, but he also supported the arts. He was also a Robin Hood. He gave people money. He, he, he type of Robin Hood okay. and, and he side. Like he, he created Medellin, not Tugurio. Tugurio means people living in the street or, or in wood house, you know, mm, bad okay. place. And okay. then he created little apartments and stuff like that, little, like in here we call it the well, projects, the, the project, okay, like yeah, projects yeah. like that, you know? green, okay. and then he bringing people living in the street to house, okay. and then creating like a soccer field, give you some shoes, give you some this and that, you understand okay. what I'm saying? Sure. But when 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 everything changes and everybody know who you are, you know what I'm saying? Because they're, they're wrong, he say, well, well, you know, right, keeping right. yourself behind, now you sure. want to be in the politician and be in the senator, and you want to be Congress, and you... Because mm -hmm. he's a drug dealer. You cannot be all right. this stuff, you know? Right. You understand what I'm saying? I do. And then he turned out to be a bad guy when the police chasing him, American guy, you everywhere. And then he do some crazy thing. So it's when you view the life and, and stuff you did not right, come and do wrong things. When you kill people, no got nothing to do right. with the situation you put yourself. Right. You understand? I, I do understand. You know, Castro and, and, and the dude from Panama, Noriega, big role on, 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 on Escobar business too. Because Noriega told Escobar, you can put a lot in my country mm -hmm. and got the money from Escobar. Mm -hmm. And then later tell Bush, because he working for CIA, right. he got the lot right here. Right. And then when Escobar find now, he's, he's sending like 300 Colombian to find... Noriega in Panama, where well, he did it, fly to Cuba and tell Castro, I got all these people. He said, why you do that? You know, you can do that. You, know, you cannot take it, they do money and then tell the other guy is why he paid for what he did it. Sure. So Fidel did not want to get involved with Escobar for the drug trade at all, right? Fidel always, you know, behind the seat. Okay. Never he wanted to put his head on the floor. Okay. Like, 
Everybody, you know, Cuba got a beer and bottle in the drug trade back in the 80s. We go all the Cuban from Miami, uh, Bebo, Speedy War, bringing all the cocaine from sure. Cuba. And even uh, uh, the government in Bao uh, had to use to be uh, Aldo Santa Maria Cuadrado. He had to use to run in the, the Marine. You know, he's a brother from Aver Santa Maria and I did. Both, you know, play mm. big, big role in the revolution thing. Mm -hmm. Because Aver Santa Maria, when, when Batista Torchy got his eyes out and all that stuff, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And then his brother running the. the but so soon the American find now, he's switching and switching to somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because all these people represent the revolution in Castro, Toro, here. See, I find now, the people find now, you and Bao, this, I have to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Because it's the only way America invaded Cuba. See, find now Castro and Bao in the drug trade. Okay. So see, everything around here, he know, but soon, Anybody find now, he make you disappear. So at one point, El Chapo's group came out of Mexico and they took over a lot of that, that same drug clientele that Escobar had put in place. No? No. I know how Chapo, you know, Chapo is different people in the other type of time. You okay. Know? Chapo coming later and then he coming from Honduras, Guatemala before, mm -hmm. sneaking out uh, and trying to buy. They go again coming from Colombia and store mm -hmm. and bring it to Mexico and control, you know. Okay. But between when Chapo came out, I believe Escobar got killed, you know. It's after. Chapo do a lot of business more with Cali Cartel. Mm -hmm. It's the one the Orejuela okay. brothers and stuff like that, you know. Okay. So Cali as opposed to Medellin. Medellin is Escobar. Okay. And Cali it's Orejuela. Okay. You know, it's different type of people. And then come El Valle. El Valle is other people north. Not even got nothing to do, you know, because when these two big cartels fire each other and brought down all these little people, crazy, his own cartel, and come out very powerful. But later on, it's like, like, it's like a program calling uh, uh, Cartel de los Sapos, you know. Mm. These people selling a lot of drugs and trying to buy the DA and say, I give you 40 million, I'm coming to Miami, clean myself, I don't got nothing to do. And the government say, you know, what you like there? You know, and, and the government got a lot of money from yeah. these people. Yeah. These people giving 80, 90 million dollars, one lawyer to Miami to try to put it together and clean it out every day. And he said, who told you? <laughs> no, we're gonna keep the money, but all these people go to jail, no. no. <laughs> There you go. Um, Haiti, what about Haiti? Haiti is a place, we got a lot of Haitis living in Cuba, in okay. the countryside. You okay. know, all these people take care of the sugar cane, and, and because in and, and running a lot of religion thing around in the, in the countryside, but you don't see no Haiti in, in, in Havana or in the capital. You only want to see come away in the countryside because it's when come away it's, it's a plane you got a lot of sugar cane and, and a lot of uh, cows and stuff like that. It's when you're going to see Hades and Jamaica people. Okay. Baby Dr. Valier, Papa Dr. Valier. Duvalier, uh, I, I don't know about the Duvalier. I, I, I don't know Baby Doe when okay. went to French when his father got killed and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, Haiti be, you know, before, Haiti always, people look like a poor country, but Haiti got a beautiful side and he got a side rich, a lot of rich people mm. living in Haiti. Everybody know because it's beautiful. Haiti is like Republic, Dominican Republic, it's the same thing. Right. So Dominican's very dangerous in many ways right now. So but You know why? Because a lot of Dominican Republic being deported to Dominica. Okay. That's why it's very dangerous. All the people from New York, be in the in the drought and kill people and you understand New York is very dangerous hmm. and very fast. So all the Dominican got big Dominican Rep the Republic community in, in New York. So all these people may crying and so like they be deported to Republic Dominican Republic. So the island is very small. So when when you 
when all the tigers show out, you know, sure. kind of climb, go race. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, the Gambinos are still working, whatever's left of them, right? So that family is still intact in New York, but not like it was. Always, always, you know, the mafia be in New York because it's something, you know, it's a lot of money involved or not even in draw. It's in, in gambling, sure. like, like football games, baseball games, numbers, you know. Mm -hmm. New York is a big population in every corner. People running numbers and talk, call them bolita, you know. It's a lot of money involved on the stuff. And when you see a lot of easy money go around, it no, it no, people don't go right. Right. turn around and, and, and let it go. Sure, people nature of the beast. People want to you know. Um, Before, it used to be more controlled by the mafia and stuff, but a lot of people go to jail, and, and the mafia is not the mafia like before, because right. a lot of people are snitching, right. like you've never seen it before. You sure. understand what I'm saying? I, when I the government come and tell you, hey, 30 sure. years. Sammy the Bull, for God's sakes, no, right? right? Sammy the Bull is a big rap in New York, you know? Wow. <laughs> he yeah. come in the newspaper like that. Yeah. Uh, human trafficking. You know, I'm certainly... Out of Central America, out of Mexico, the, the girls you know, are being. When I see, when I see the, the only place I see human trafficking, I seen him in the in the, like in Florida, in New York, and stuff like that. Like people work in the field. Okay. You understand? Like tomato fields and 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 then other guys rent a lot of uh, uh, what do you call it, trailer park, like a trailer park. So everybody work in the field. Leaving the trailer park, mm -hmm. fade rate. Okay. Now it's bringing four, five, six, seven women. Mm -hmm. And then when you give pay, you seem like give prostitution mm -hmm. and give the money from all of you. You understand what I mean? It's, I like, it's like money circulation like that. Right. And never go out. You follow me? Right, I do. Because you work in the field and then you pay the rent. And then right. you go to a store, belong to me too. Right. You know? And then I'm bringing some bitches. And you give your money away. Sure. And they said the only way I see like human traffic in, in America in here, like women from different types of country, mm -hmm. Mexico, Colombia, you know. So uh, when I was in Cuba, I, I noticed that the police are very rigorous. Uh, we've touched on this a little bit in part one uh, about people that are being outside of their, their zone, their neighborhood or something else, especially for women. It seems to me that they really pick on women for being out of place. So prostitution is not legal in Cuba, but no. obviously, as we talked about the other day, you have to do what you have to do, right? And um, is that primarily uh, an exchange of money for people inside of Cuba, or is that the foreigners that come through, or what, how does that work? How it work? In other words, are, are the women um, selling themselves to other Cubans, they sell themselves to the foreigners that come, or? No, the woman selling herself for, for support, family, and stuff like that. Okay. It's, you're not going to see, like, pimp right. like you've seen it here in America. Okay. No, in Cuba. Okay. Because you, the woman, you know, even when the time I live in Cuba, I live in Cuba, I, I born in 1960, I live to 1980. Mm -hmm. Okay, for 20 years, I never see nothing like that before. Right, right. Because see, by the time, Cuban running different way, you know. Cuban changed in 1990, 1991, mm -hmm. and then it's when the collapse in, in, in the economic way, in, in, he called it the periodo especial. Okay. You know, special period. Castro called it because a uh, struggle, economy, no more oil, no more flour. Well, sure, you know, the, the wall you, collapsed in 1989, so right. Coming, right. we got repercussion about that. Mm -hmm. So we unicolize it, we don't get nothing no more, mm -hmm. you know, everything cut off, mm -hmm. and then Cuba struggle, and then he has to change the way how make money, and then it's how sure. the tourists come out. Mm -hmm. You understand? The people from Italy, Spain, I never see the kind of people in Cuba when I live in Cuba. Right. Oh, I see people from Canada, I see people from, from Roche, a lot of Roche people. You sure, understand? It's a, some it's, token Americans, it's, yeah. It's what, you know, I never see American Cuba when, okay. uh, when I live in Cuba. Okay. I live close to Hemingway House, you know, mm -hmm. because you be in my house mm -hmm. in Cuba. You right, know, I've, you, I've been in your house, When yes. we speak, you, you know me because you, you be in my neighborhood. Yes. 
You understand what I'm saying? You know yes. my, my, my ground, when the people coming, maybe we don't got a lot, but uh, we love each other. We know. Everyone knows your family in Cuba. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. We love each other. If my yes. father got good reputation, mm -hmm. and he died in 93 years, yes. you understand what I'm saying? Yes. And my mother, too, raising all the kids, and my sisters, and my brothers, you know, my nephews. And no, I'm, I'm honored to have met your father, so yes. That's it. Yes. We live close to Hemingway. Mm -hmm. Hemingway out in be America, I live mm -hmm. in Cuba. You know, right. you go fishing, wah, 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 right. and this and that. And then, it's the only way we see, like, uh, American stuff, like Hemingway, and then he show his picture in a Florida. You know, and then you go to la casita, la, la bodeguita en medio, and you see something from, and all the names, because even my neighborhood, all the neighbor, California, Rockefeller, uh, Carolina, all American names, you know, mm -hmm. around my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and so, it's what I see. And then we have to usually go and meet Amare, Bedao, like, like, like when you go across the bridge, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the coffee shop there. Sure, up by uh, what I call Embassy Row. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. When, you, when, when you're coming from Bedao and you right. pass uh, Malecón, mm -hmm. 1800, mm -hmm. go to the bridge, uh, Casalta. Okay. You know, all the, all the, all the uh, uh, like Bedao, 10 o'clock. All the coffee shop is America. We have we to usually go to Tencent de Galeano. Sure. Tencent de La Habana, you know, you go in, in behind, behind people, you stand down. When he get out, you stand down and ask him for, for your sandwich or your coffee. Like in here in America. Right. right. You understand? Yep. But when Castro comes, everything changes because yeah. he wanted everything be for the government, get touched from people. And we, everything collides because right. now you create different generation. Right. When you started working for the government, anytime you see this bottle, uh, nobody look at you, you put them in your pocket because belong to the government, so you want to take it for yourself. Sure. Sure. But when you work and, and, and you give gratitude and, and people pay you right, you don't have to steal it, you don't have to take it. But when the government takes everything, you have to do whatever you have to do to support your family. I agree. And, so I, I, when I was down there one time, I met the, the Cuban ambassador, and we're talking about a project that I wanted to do. I wanted to open, as you know, a restaurant and a hotel there, right? So having the conversation, he's like, so you know, Robert, tell me what you want to do. And I said, well, I want to open a restaurant and a hotel. He said, that's very good. You should do that with us. And I said, of course. Who is us? And he said, well, the Cuban government, of course. I said, of course, you know. He said, I, I can promise you three things. You will never have an issue with inventory, right? Mm -hmm. You will never have a uh, problem with uh, staff. We tell them to show up. They will show up. Well, of course they will, right? And he says, and most importantly, we are the bank. We're the state. We control the money. There you go. Who doesn't want to be part of that, right? Yeah. But, you know, as obviously as the, uh, the shifting sands have changed, you're a little closer, a little further away. And I was down one time with your son looking at property, thinking about buying a, you know, a, a cost of buying a house as well. And, um, you know, that it's nice that they have opened some of that restriction up to the Cuban people uh, for me as a foreigner to invest. I don't think that's ever going to happen. So, let me tell you something. I've seen him before. Like, like uh, the dude got a disco. Okay. Play nice. He's from Spain. Okay. Now he got a woman or some or something like that. Got something to do with Raúl grandson. Mm. Okay. Then he got into with a young kid. Wah 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 wah. Next thing you know, hey, my man, you fly, go tonight. Okay. You better not miss him. It's the only thing he tell you. All the restaurant, all the disco, leave him behind because he's going to keep it and take it and put you in jail. So, so you better take the flight and, and, and get out from there. If you're lucky, it's only jail. Yeah. You understand, you, you understand what I'm <laughs> I saying? Do, I do. It's no good. You know, you, you can, when, when you got money, and, and everything running flow, you can put the business out there, but you know you're running the business for, for, for a period. You know, we're running the business for life. Right. You're not going to be business. Even, even when he when he build a hotel or whatever, he say, you can run the hotel for 20 years. After 20 years, it's mine. Right. Exactly, 20-year contract. Yeah, you right. understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It's how the way right. Castro do business. Right. You know? Well, my takeaway now, after uh, you know, time has gone by and, and uh, it's so much has changed, and yet so much hasn't changed, it's a nice place to visit, but I will never live there. I will never have a business even there. Even up right now, all the day, uh, uh, some do... Kiwi Castro, uh, 
seven, eight million dollars, something like that, to build something Cuba. Who you think he put the, 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 the account on whose name? His name, of course. No. No. The dude is a president right now. Well, there you He's are. He's using by the time, because listen, Castro got a lot of kids, mm -hmm. like my age. Sure. When, uh, no father, no mother. He, he grow out. You know, he put him in the school. He take care. He put him in the military. It's all his people. But Castro died already. You understand right. what I'm saying? But all these young guys right now die for these people. Sure. Because only no he's seen it. And then you never, uh, somebody take care of you all your life. Right. So say, you're not going to buy the hang the people take care of you. You understand what I'm saying? I do. Now, all the people got different vision. Mm -hmm. But any time somebody got the vision, mm -hmm. these people find out and, and, and take care before mm -hmm. anything happens. It's what, you know, it's what I've seen in Cuba. Are you ever going back? I don't know. I don't, I don't go by in 40 years or right now. I don't, I don't see, you know. Probably not, yeah. Maybe, maybe I die, I never come back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't know. I want to. Sure. We go in my country, you right. know. I love my country. I love right. my people. Right. And I want to, but I already do my life. I got my grandkids, my kids mm. in America and stuff like that, you know. You know, I want to see my sisters, and, you know. But beside that. Charming people, by the way. I met your sisters as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my, my sister Marta, mm -hmm. Lazara, Isabel, mm -hmm. his daughter, you know, my mm -hmm. granddaughter, my grand, you no, know, my, yep. my my nephews and my niece. Very nice. Juan Carlos, my brother. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about Hemingway for a minute. Obviously, a major impact and influence on Cuba, and people around the world associate Ernest Hemingway with Cuba, right? Yeah. Much more than Key West or even Spain. Cuba is the place, and obviously he had a house there. He loved it because he, Cuba is like kickback yeah. country, you know. He got a little farm. He can go out and get some mango. Beautiful eat fruit, estate. And smoke a cigar. Yeah, and then, swimming and, pool. And, and, and then he can go and go fish, jump in the boat, go fish the whole day, read a book, lay, you know, some place very quiet. You can go, sure. and then you're going to be in, in, in the ocean. You go... Uh, uh, what he call it in the play, he, he always go drinking. La Florida uh, or? La Floridita. Uh -huh. You go to Floridita and get out, you know, sent down over there uh -huh. and, and you have fun. I like and La Floridita. He, and, and he loves the Cuban woman over there. Yeah. Beautiful women Who in knows, Cuba. you know. Very beautiful women in Cuba. And I've said this before, is that uh, they see you from 20 feet away and they lock eyes with you and they are in your soul. It is something about those women that you have in Cuba. They're just delightful. <laughs> Beautiful, you know, <laughs> beautiful woman. Yeah. And people, you know, thinking, uh, doing something, you know, seeing it like, like in, in America, the woman got more, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what do you call it? Malda, you know, what I say, something like that. Uh, always in here, a woman thinking back all the, all the time before you started, you know, you know, good. And Cuba is different. You you see some woman, uh, you know, nice, and the mind is clean. You no, know? it's mm -hmm. because no no got no problem. Don't have to pay no rent. Don't have to pay no bill. Don't have to pay nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different. Mm -hmm. And then got the opportunity to go to school, to be independent woman, mm -hmm. to make you understand what I'm saying. It's, I do. You be a doctor. You be a lawyer. You be a this. You sure. Know? In different countries, you know, the woman don't got the opportunity to do that either. Mm -hmm. True. You understand? Very true. Let's talk about Rome for a minute. Rome. I love Cuba, Rome. <laughs> What's not the love? Best Rome in the world. You know, Castro take over the company when, when because this company has to use to be a, a, the Puerto Rican Rome. Uh -huh. and, and then he moved to Miami for a minute. And then he went to Puerto Rico, but Castro way keep it. Mm -hmm. Well, Bacardi started out that way, Bacardi, right? Bacardi, yeah, Bacardi. Right. right. And Ron uh, Bacardi, out to UCB in Cuba for, for years. Mm -hmm. And then when Castro take over, he had to left. He left to Miami, but he bring his company to Puerto Rico. Sure. Well, that the original uh, Cuba Libre goes back to 1902, little village, right? 
Yeah. And so it's actual Bacardi rum with Coca-Cola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, you know, he, he got a lot of punch like, like uh, uh, Santiago, you know, Legendario. He make a lot of different type of rum, like Baradero, mm -hmm. you know. The company be expanded and make a different blend right, right now. Right. Even never seen him before, you know. Because yeah. I'm, I'm in Cuba, I remember Legendario, Ronda, Tres Tonele, you know, uh, Guayabita de Pinar, Havana Club. Mm -hmm. Because it's a company, Havana Club company is close to my house. You know, over there by Alibar. Okay. You know, Alibar mm -hmm. and then Havana Club is like one blow from the Alibar. Okay. You know, the, the big company right there, close, close to my house. Now, we should go down and film that sometime. Yeah. But um, in my mind, the best white rum of the world is Cuban rum. And I like the Havana Club, certainly in a mojito. I think that it is marvelous in a daiquiri. The Santiago, oh, beautiful. Because Cuba is still keeping the old ways to do the rum, you know. The old, the old time, you got for years and years, put him away, you know, sure. in the barrio. Yeah. In the wood, you know. Yeah. Different steel and different, you know, right now people making more production. Right. And then, and then all the Cuban runs, you know, going to Polonia. <laughs> right. Because Raul got real type of Polonia because he got a wife from Polonia before. Ah. He, you understand what we say? Raul uh, got a wife from Polonia. The power Polonia. of the woman, I understand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's how he got a good relationship with po po Polish people and, and, and then. All around, the bodies drink a lot and love it, you know. And he already got his holding a lot. And then he got a lot of Havana Club, club and French. He started a lot of rum, too. I've, uh, I've drank my share of Cuban rum in France and in Spain. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Even Italy, yes, in absolutely. France, yeah. Yeah, this, of course, is aged for three years, so it's not just a white rum. It's, in, it's an incredible white I, rum. I, I, like, I like Ritual. Ah. I drink my whole bottle of Ritual all Ritual? the time. Yeah. yeah, I love Ritual. Yeah. It's a, one person I want to grow, I've never seen him before. You right, know? right, right. Even there I haven't seen it, so absolutely. Marvelous. How about cigars? Oh. <laughs> cigars. Cigars. So, you know, obviously there's a natural affiliation between the two. Synergistically, a rum and a cigar work so well together, especially a Cuban rum and a Cuban cigar. You know, people, uh, like right now, I speak about Cohiba and Cohiba Partaga. Mm-hmm. Be before in, like mm -hmm. H. Uma is in Havana for right. even before maybe Castro, even mm -hmm. Burr, you know. Sure, but when he take it over, he take all his company, and, and, right? And the people from Spain love cigar, yes, they in do. Italy, and then control Europe, yep, business, Biz business because you buy cigars in Havana maybe in dollar, right? But well, when you sell them in euro, you sell them more money, sure, tobacco letter. So sure. Say yeah, what yeah. We say. And right. they, they, the type of business these people do is play with the money. Like mm -hmm. you, you buy in dollar, but when you sell it in euro, people pay more. It's two different types. Mm -hmm. Then you make money in the money, and you make money in the price. Sure. You know? Well, they make different blends, too. The, uh, the, Espana, the Spanish blend is much different than the standard blend that you know, we get out of Canada or something else, right? You know, you know we got a lot of, lot of like, like yeah, the I, I could sing and our food is a lot of from Spain. Okay. We're using a lot of chorizo, ham, pork, you know, like, like, like. Well, it's yeah. a good partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Spain always, you know, even, even, uh, even America trying to, you know, put the embargo and trying to say Spain always what Canada do. Never turn the in Cuba back away. Mm -hmm. Take care of business. Say we don't, you know, whatever you problem, you problem. Yeah. Again, I, I think we talked about this in the first section. I really look at Cuba as being a direct extension of Spain. I believe you know Cuba. What I have to use to do is growing his own. Like he, we we don't have like a lot of tractors, a lot of stuff to mechanize the, sure. the, the, the countryside. And then we can produce. A lot of stuff. When you when you put the country produce a store from the ground, it's how you grow it. Mm -hmm. Because you make it out of nothing, and then you can put a price and sell. You know. I had proposed at one point that Milwaukee uh, adopt a city in Cuba as a sister city to help out humanitarian, right? Yeah. Death fears, of course. Listen, I've seen it the other day. You know, he opened a new different store right now, mm -hmm. selling. 
a store in, in American money in Cuba. You know, the price is crazy because like, like it's Thai. Okay. You know, and here you buy Thai 17, 18 dollars in Menard or whatever. Sure. Over there he want $25. Mm. I mean, Cuban people make it $10 right. a month. A month. You have to work a whole month. A month. And, and put it and everything. You right. think you can go buy some Thai? You understand no. what I'm saying? I, I do. And a lot of stuff like that. Don't say, yeah, I believe it. Oh, this is where well, you know where it's coming from? Donation from church in Florida when the huracan with all the stuff yep. and putting a lot of containers in the top of the boat. Going to Cuba and not giving nothing to nobody. Now these people put them in the store and trying to sell. You, you, you follow me? I do. Don't say. I don't think it's the right way. I don't know how the church lady, the government, do that. Something coming from outside, people donate to the Cuban people and do keep it and try to sell. All right, it should go to the Cuban people. You understand what? And free. I, I do. Free. free. Give, it, give it out. You know free. what I mean? It's given. I, I agree. believe it. See, no, no papers. You start to throw food, clothes in Cuba. They go and make. Everybody go running out. They say, no, no. You, you, you do trying to know, take care of business with the people, bring you all the stuff to all. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, I, don't, I don't see it. You understand? I don't see when, uh, why I, I, it's I, like that. With the Cuban people that I interact here, the Cuban Americans who I interact with here, they had great expectations that when Diaz took over, it would open up and that would change to some degree. But it hasn't at all, has mm -mm. it? No. Listen, Raul is the one control. Okay, everything. Even he no round, we go eat it all, and then he want to be relaxed. He want everybody all the trouble in the office, all the phone call, and it's all like that. But when you time to make decision, you have to call me. Not do nothing before you call me and mm -hmm. let me know what's going on. Yeah. The other way, you cross the line and do something you're not supposed to do because before you do you do that, you have to wait for my advice. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is what happened to the dude running right now. Simple that. Yeah, I've I've written letters to the Cuban embassy for some things that I had in mind that maybe would assist but in some Raul, way. But Raul, no response. Song and love is a general. He's the one. Okay. All the dollar mm -hmm. go to his office. Okay. And his grandson is in the military service too. These people focus on all the business. Like right now, Western Union got big trouble in Cuba because you send dollar to Cuba mm -hmm. and he give you some chavito. Why? You understand what I'm saying? I do. Like right now, because people don't know seeing it, but uh, what you can see, I can send some money to Argentina, and, and then he keep the money, and tomorrow when the dollar, today is one dollar for one dollar, but tomorrow is two dollar for my dollar, and then I can change. You understand? I understand. Now, so you keep it, and mm -hmm. give me some paper, no work, nothing. Yeah, I can not do nothing with my money. Right. So that's what happened. American tour, Western Union. You cannot let it do that because Cuba get per se all the all the all, all, all the money we send it. Right. You know, because he charging you some money to right. send it, you know? Right. So say one of the one one percent of the money he charging you, you have to give it to Cuba government. Now, these people are so hungry, this is not enough. Now he want all the dollar coming to Cuba. Go straight to one place. Okay? And then Chavito go away soon. He told already. So a lot of people got Chavito. And one point in time, he gonna have nothing. Yeah. Because when he's changing, you know, you can bring them and say, no, no more, no. So do you see that changing at all in the next five years or 10 years or ever? I don't see it. Okay. I don't see the change. Right now. Not right now. Not with this generation. But me. Still, you know, I believe it. Raul gone, maybe some change. But when Raul there, there's no change. Mm -hmm. He got too much control already for, 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 for years. And any time he sees something now, first thing he did, everything around Fidel, gone. Mm -hmm. Bring it new mm -hmm. people. No, 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 no. You go, you go, you go, you go, everybody go. I don't need you no more. I'm bringing people from my realm, you know, people around me. Well, I know several of the diplomats that I was dealing with 
Are no, gone. Gone. No one knows anything. Just I gone. Know. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And you give you. A, you got a car? No, you don't got no car no more. Tomorrow you got a bike. You got to run in the bike. <laughs> it's how. It's how you know you weigh the the grace. You know. Yeah. You ride like this in the hotel everywhere. They want you two hours. Say no, we no allow. You no allow yeah. here no more. Puppet master, I see that as well because there are times on the island where there's no water to be had, right? You can't buy water, you can't buy gas, you can't, there's all sorts of things. It's not that it's not on the island somewhere, it's that the government doesn't want that sold, it's they remain control, the iron fist over the people. That's my view anyway. I believe so, you know, because these people can share the lie off. Mm -hmm. Because my area, even when I live in Cuba, mm -hmm. oh wait, we got three, four hours, oh wait, light shut out. Mm -hmm. We lucky. See, he want to shut out in the daytime. Sometimes yeah. he want to shut out at seven o'clock. Right. So, so you be from seven to twelve o'clock, no light at all. Yeah, well, you, 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 you control you, the people, and, right? And your neighborhood. Right. You understand? Right. Nobody right. can watching TV. Right. Nobody can do nothing about right. it. You know what I mean? Right. You understand? I understand. <laughs> I understand. Criollo in Cuba flows, you know. Yes. And then come uh, Don Tomás La Palma as the flow president of, of Cuba. Hmm? When, when the Cuba, you know, taking the power, and then he come out, when, when America blow the main, mm -hmm. you know, Manuel Sanguili, all, you know, it's how intervention America went in Spain. And then Spain had to go from Cuba in 1902, 1901. Sure, 1902. Teddy Roosevelt, right? Yeah. Rough Riders, and yeah, 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 okay. You know, in Cuba, you see a piece of a main, it's still, you never seen it? I never saw that. Oh, I think uh, you have to go to a uh, port, to okay. a port, you know. Sure. Uh, beside uh, the, the train, you know, train terminal. Yeah, okay. The, the train terminal, okay. he, he got the, you know, I don't know if you went to a, uh, you know, it's in a submaria, a submaria, Belén, it's Havana Vieja. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh okay. Havana, you know. Oh, Havana, right. You know, you know where's the two brothers? Yes. Los pastores, two yes. brothers, pastores, you know, they, yes. you know, in Havana Vieja. Yes. And then all the poor, Sierra Uno, and then in, in between the poor, you're going to see a piece of metal. He says it's the, the main one. USS Maine. Out. Yeah. Wow. When it blew out. Okay. A lot, of, a lot of people take a picture. Of it. Yeah. I don't know how you know when. I, I, I know where that is. I've never you been know? down there for that. Yeah. I'll have to go back, right? Yeah. Okay, good. You know, it's a lot of play, you know, you know, city in Cuba is historic, you know, mm -hmm. because a lot of America live in Cuba before. Yes. And people from different countries, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Living over there. 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, absolutely, yes. Like it. When Castro take over, he take all the corner story. After you see belong to people sure. in Spain, people. You know, the corner story from the house. Mm -hmm. And then you have to sell him for five do for five cents. He giving you a glass of uh, beer, and then he give you cheese, ham, and the olive with a stick for five cents. Tapas, the original and, tapas, and, right? And, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. corner yeah. from the house, but belong to Spain people. So when he take over, the Chinese like got a lot of fruit, fruit play, you know, fruit story. Sure. How's we for run? Oh, run. That's even better. You understand? So, uh, you know, again, the original tapas. Speaking of the Chinese, I, I've been to Chinatown. We hmm. go behind my house. Okay. It's a uh, Chinese, uh, like a home. Okay. The old people always are there. So on Saturday and Sunday, these people open the door. You can buy some from the garden. These people mm -hmm. growing all type of uh, vegetables and fruit and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But open only Saturday and Sunday. For a Monday, all these old people around inside doing nothing, you know, taking songs, sure. smoking the bamboo, and, and we watching when you were little kid. And then we had to use it by Chinese mental, because my mother asking me for her day and stuff like that, put some mental from the Chinese bars. And then we go around, but all these Chinese come out from there, got kids and stuff like that, and grow out in my neighborhood. And then these people running like, uh, Watching clothes and, 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 and fruit plays, fruit markets, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Besides, different Spain. Spain running the corner store and they right. running the wine, the beer, the fruit. Well, Chinatown know. came uh, from the railroads, didn't it? Because the Chinese built the railroads. 
and then many of them stayed there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Chi you know, people maybe know, but China used to be a slave. We go mm -hmm. with these people right. uh, doing the, 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 the Panama Canal. They sure, the, uh, people, the, the coolies, the, right? They, they probably people yeah, yeah. bring you with the Chinese, but all, all this disease and stuff like that kill a lot of people. And, and, right. And, you know, and, and we go and say, how work? And then you have to go through all the, like, Amazon and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to find a lot of disease around. And then it's how Chinese coming everywhere, you know, even running from Mao Zedong. Sure. <laughs> but back in the day. How did uh, how did Guantanamo Bay become the U.S. territory? Guantanamo Bay became the U.S. territory when 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 when, when American intervention, mm -hmm. you know, and he he, he gonna do a, a trade. He calling base navales y carbonera. Okay. And then. He came in Guantanamo Bay, be a part of America for so many years. Okay. okay? A hundred years or something, right? Yeah. Okay. And this year passed already. I don't yeah. Know so. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't know what the situation, why Cuba no take it back. That's the question. I believe it. Guantanamo Bay is a big uh, uh, geographic position for America. Okay. Because from Guantanamo Bay, you can control everything. Yeah, the come Caribbean. And go. Right. From the At south, Atlantic even and the south, from right. Colombia, from sure. Venezuela, coming through. Yeah. Because I remember back in the day when Bush administration, he put a lot of uh, balloon, two, 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 camera around. Drug interdiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. then he be taking pictures. Every boy, every chick coming from there, he already know. He said, hey, it's right there. Yeah. Grab it, you know. So you know? I'm sure just money allows us to stay there, right? Hell yeah. Yeah. And then later on, the, even Obama administration using for, for Guantanamo Bay for, for the Arabian people, is how when he bring all these people uh, torching, doing all mm. the stuff out there, is mm. how these people find now everybody bound in the war and in, in, in the terror. Mm -hmm. Because you know, the people say, no, he torch and do this, but you don't do that. These people never tell you how many people involved, how many people got killed in Europe, in France, right. in Spain. We go, the Arabian do mm -hmm. blue place, you know, left mm -hmm. and right, England, mm -hmm. everywhere, you know. He think about it, you know, you know, Arabia, you are Satan, you know, whatever. Right. <laughs> These people think about it. Every religion right. thing, you know, yeah. it's something between, you know, America and Arabians. Mm -hmm. Big problem, because I don't know why, you know, I don't know. Well, Obama let a lot of people free from Gitmo, right? Yeah, but I believe you so. You know, when you got somebody with the, with the strong arm, it's like, yeah, I remember Yugoslavia, Joseph Bros. Tito. Mm -hmm. When he died, Yugoslavia broke down, and, and you see all the genocidio and all the stuff. We go different race and different stuff. It's like Saddam Hussein. You see Iraq. Before, when he out there, nobody do all the crazy stuff doing right mm -hmm. now because these people don't play around. You understand right. what I'm saying? I do. Ain't no chedi. So say, when you take in the, 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 the strong thing, it's how all the problems come later. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, and easy and all that stuff. When Saddam Hussein over there, ain't no easy, ain't no terror, ain't no bang, nobody blew nothing. You understand right. what I'm saying? I do. America decided to take him off, you know. He made the aggression. But he had to use, he working with Bush, he working for the CIA. Mm -hmm. Bush put him out there to fight against right. Iran. Right. You know, because two different people, Persian, right. Khomeini, of course. Sunni. I remember Ayatollah like Khomeini from Iran, yeah. the Shah, you know, in 1979 with the mm -hmm. problem with Jimmy mm -hmm. Carter, is how he lose yeah. the presidency because he got all the people in the embassy and now right. all the stuff. You understand right. what I'm saying? Yep. But it's, Always, you know, the one country you never see everybody talking too much is India. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very powerful country too, but we got a lot of people. Huge, huge population, yes. You know, but it's around the, the, the area right there. Mm -hmm. Like Iran, I believe it, caused a lot of problems. I agree. E everywhere, because it's the one support all the stuff. But you can see, you know, people don't understand. I'm Sunni, you see us. Mm -hmm. We're different people. We're right. different race. We're different right. type of guy. You know what I mean? Right. I'm Persian. You are Arabian. Right. I don't, we don't got nothing right. to do. Right. You follow me? And, yeah. And, 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 
all these land be fight and be like this for generation and generation for years and years. Right. Because it's how come in the Bible, Jesus, Egypt, there's, there's nothing new there, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, and we've seen it for years and years. It's crazy. Yeah. So the Shah's been gone since like 1973 or so, right? Shah of Iran? No, no, 79. 79 the Shah yeah. left. I thought Khomeini was, oh, okay. I thought Khomeini take over in 1979. Okay. You know, and he's, I believe he won the Shah kill himself and his wife still here. Mm. These people, you know, running around, but... Can't be a young man anymore. No. No. You know, I believe it. Saddam Hussein got Iran at one point in time, and, and he not finished. I don't know why. Because he fight for 10 years, you know, for Uchede. Mm -hmm. And America support. Like, like when, when, when Afghanistan fight rush, America support the Taliban. You know, now Taliban went crazy and stuff like that. You know. The war is... You know, it's a chess game, right? CIA is playing a chess game at all times. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. CIA is another government inside the government. You mm -hmm. know? They are that. Yep. Yeah. But it's a war. It's, a, it's how war working, you know. Mm -hmm. The only thing, you know, I believe, I remember I read a, a, a artist in a magazine from, I don't know if it's from, it's from Dude. He died. But a lot of things he said, started happening 10, 15, 20 years later. I don't remember what is the name. I know one thing he said, the, the thing we supposed to worry about is uh, the union between Germany and China, right? Say, uh, Germany got the brain, China got people. People. And power, money, you know, oh, yes. to run in the war. Mm -hmm. he, can, he can afford to lose. See, 700 million people. Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't care. They, know. they don't frankly care, they right? Know. And he no. said, we don't miss nobody. Right, right. <laughs> you understand? Yes. That's what I have to usually. Besides that, I believe America is very powerful. Mm -hmm. And running thing was supposed to be. The other way, I believe it was running wild like it was. Well, the thing about <laughs> having power is you have to know how to use that power, right? Yeah. Be judicious. And, uh, yeah. There's plenty of examples of, of power gone wrong. A lot of things went out of hand, you know, yes. in, in this administration. Yes. You know, and, you know, do he got good intention, but when mm -hmm. we, he know how to explain himself. Right. And then sometimes he come in wrong thing out of his mouth. Right. And then people take it the wrong way. You right. understand what I'm saying? I do. Because he, you know, it's happening. He, he, he got his view. All the people got a different way to see. Well, what do they say? Right. The uh, the road to hell is uh, paved with good intentions. So, yeah. yeah. And like Castro, he got a good intention before. Yeah. I believe he got a good a intention. A man of conviction. I've always said that. Lizzie, Fidel was Lizzie, a man of conviction. Lizzie, Lizzie. Yeah. The man got good intention. Later, whatever happened, nobody knows. But mm -hmm. before, we, what I'm proud of my country, I never see kids bigger for money in the street. I don't see no kids out of shoes when he running my country in the time I live in Cuba from the 60 to the 80. Mm -hmm. After that, I don't know because I don't live in Cuba. I cannot tell you about But when I live in Cuba, I don't see no kids in the I, street. I have not seen kids banging in the street. watching window and right. do that. And I remember one time he went to United Nations and tell him here in America, I know my country or oh, oh my, oh, oh my, like in here, it's capitalism. Mm -hmm. You know, he trying to be a communist, revolution, socially, whatever he want to call it, mm -hmm. whatever he running. He said, yeah. I, I know no work. Sure. But it just no work either. Mm -hmm. Because Colombia got the same, Mexico running the country in the same way you guys running. Capitalism, mm -hmm. Colombia, and all these people, immigrants to the United States too. Mm -hmm. Why? The only country I don't see people immigrant over here is Canada. People live in Canada, I stay in Canada. No coming over here. But besides that, a lot of people coming to this country. They do? From everywhere. Everyone comes to the U.S. You understand yes. what I'm saying? I do. Don't say, see you got the same, see, see you country running the same way American running. What do you have to, I mean, I mean, like we running out of Cuba because 
o we're looking for opportunity in life. But all these people got the opportunity in this country, or, 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 or this country running different in America or something like that, like Mexico. All the people coming over here because he can you know, make it in Mexico. But we, we, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? True. In Colombia, people running from Colombia over here, right. it's the same, the same, the same. Running the country the same way mm -hmm. America running the country. Mm -hmm. It's no different. Different is Korea. Different is Cuba. You understand? Yes. Different is when you don't got the opportunity to spread yourself and stuff mm -hmm. like that. When you know, but all the people trying to be rich and, and the poor be poor mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and then after running to America is. Well, I don't think I, I've seen in Cuba everything is equal. Some things are just more equal for some people. Sometimes, you know. Like anywhere. He got his way. He got different. Like, see, so you don't know, pay tax. How you going to create jobs? How you going to spend money on the public? Like, uh, every, everything destroyed. And that's everything has to mm -hmm. be repaired. Everything has to... And so everything you have to pay for. Right, infrastructure. So you, you, have to, you, you, have to, you have to build some kind of way. You need you, taxes, right. Yeah, you can grow money. That sure. way you can explain. And not grow money to keep it for yourself. Right. It's two different things. You know, right. when you run in a country or probably a space or you represent something, uh, you're thinking different. You don't have to think it like that for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like all the money coming from me. No, no, the money coming is not yours. You give. You pay check like everybody else. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm mean? saying? You do I some do. kind of job to represent and serve. Yes. And those these people don't want to serve. These yes. people want to keep everything for himself. Yes. Living rich, like how, like car, and not even looking back. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. Mm -hmm. It's why we need change in Cuba. Right. Okay? That way we can progress. That way we can see the life more like internet right now open a lot of eyes to people because before we don't got the access right. to see what happened in the world. But now when you see what happened in the world, you say, uh, we round something no work good. Because how people like a lot of Cuba got probably mm -hmm. in Got a lot of, uh, uh, what are you calling? Uh, because all the ones go over there and trying to show even why no guy. Like, you go to Cuba, I'm going to rent me a BMW. Why? Why? Why I want to rent a BMW? See, even maybe my mother no even got a bed mm. to lay down. Or, mm -hmm. or, you understand what I'm saying? I, I, it's some different things. Entonces, when you show people, it show like you come into America and money is everywhere. It's not like that. You have to work hard here in America to, to live in, mm -hmm. to maintain yourself because the bill coming every month, light bill, phone, everybody got situation and problem yes. and nobody know the problem people got. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Entonces, when you try to go to you and show uh, gold, this and that, people think, oh, America, it's easy. No, 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 respect my money. When I'm sending to you, no, go play or, or, or go buy you some alcohol. That's what you eat, mm -hmm. for this and that. It's what I explain mm -hmm. to my... You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Respect, you know? This is, this is so logical having you sit here and say this, and yet it can't be implemented. It's, it's a shame because you, you've laid everything out exactly what I've it is. I've seen it before in Central America, mm -hmm. like uh, Honduras. Mm -hmm. People working here, and those remesas, send the remesa to Honduras, but... Going to a little town, everybody drinking beer and play pool, and then you give my money in the Western Union mm -hmm. to do that. It's not right. You understand no, what I'm I, saying? I do. I do. And those say, when people go over there and trying to speculate, mm -hmm. it's the it's, it's mm -hmm. he, 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 he teaching wrong way to the Cuban people. Mm -hmm. I don't know, he got money to be in double, he got money to right. do this, he got right. money to do that. Right. Oh, Bobby, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. Be more modest, put your feet in the, in the, in the, in the floor. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the car is go 200, when I'm going to buy, I'm going to rent me one car. 
75, 50 dollars, 60 dollars. Yep. You understand what I mean? I don't want the one the 200. Mm -hmm. Si, igual de 200 I can rent two cars, I can stay 20 days, you understand the same car, you understand? But when you're trying to speculate, you corrupt the people living the island, yes. the Mai. Yes. You know, and thinking everything is easy. Cuba is the only country. Mm -hmm. Everybody go out there, bring it big back. Mm -hmm. These people going from there anywhere, no bringing nothing. Right. You understand what I mean? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> it's all like that. It's wrong. I've seen it. I've seen you it have like to this. work it for yourself. Like my, my brother one time asking me, I say, tell me how much it costs. A job, 1500 2000 That way, you maintain yourself. I'll buy you one time, but I'm not going to send you all the time. Buy you a position. Mm -hmm. You can make your own money. Right. You right. Know? That's how. And yeah, there's no free lunch. You understand right. what I'm saying? I do. I do. That's how I treat my family. I help them out. I send it. But I'm trying to make sure you provide yourself. Right. You don't have to depend on me all the time because I got my own life. That's the way everything should be. Yeah. It makes so much sense. And then the money you send over there, you can stretch it more mm -hmm. because God be value. Entonces, take care. You know? Because you trying to show bad habit to the people in Cuba when you Come out, you coming from one year and later you gonna buy and speculate like that, you know. You know right. And then when you gonna buy to Miami, you work like to make him money to show what you know got. It's a shame I can't put you on a lecture circuit and talk to politicians and educate them and what they're doing wrong and how they comport themselves. Yeah, you know, it's a, you know, it's my way I see life. Mm -hmm. Now I get old. I'm facing my mom, my team, yeah. you know, to try to yeah. because, but let's see. Wisdom comes with age, doesn't it? <laughs> no, you know, you, why you trying to do right? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do right in life and you know what, no problem. Right. Why you think Castro got so many people running and looking because he do wrong? Okay, when you don't do wrong, you don't need bodyguard, you don't need, you understand what I'm saying? True indeed. For real. Yes. So you do right, nobody want to kill you. Right. Now, if you do wrong, you got a lot of enemies. Yes. For real. Yes. That's the way I see life. We can finish if you want. We can finish. I think Does this it. is uh, the conclusion for number two. Yeah. Does it? You, you finish? No, keep going. Oh, he caught it already? Oh, well. We can keep rolling for a bit so longer. So we're going to uh, do a, a different program, mm -hmm. you know, short. Mm -hmm. I hope so. We're going to have live music. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk about religion and roof, how African, Spain, Bravo. And, and, and my country, you know, grow. Right? Perfect. Thank you. My friends, thank you for tuning in. This has been a most informative section uh, session of what we've been talking about with Cuba. And uh, this is our second in the program. And uh, we shall continue with uh, episode three coming shortly. So thank you much for tuning in. Be good to yourselves. Be good to your family. Cheers. Thank you.